everybody. Welcome back to Creature Corner. My name is Jared Krzyzewski. I'm a character and creature concept artist working in the industry today. Um, been doing this for a decade and some change. And then I've been teaching at Noman as a creature modeling professor for the last nine years. So if you like creatures, you like monsters, come hang out with us because that's what we're going to do tonight. Uh, also welcoming back our good friend. It's Matt Miller. What's up, man? What's we don't have on? to do the formula. We don't have to. We don't have to. We can the do whatever pause, we the want. Pause got me. <laughs> <laughs> you were waiting. And then, mm -hmm. you know what? I said, we can do whatever it's we okay. like. It's okay. We're, we're adults. Um, Matt Millard is a professional VFX supervisor, look dev, modeler, concept artist. <laughs> Film aficionado, horror aficionado, and, deadly uh, handsome fellow. Thank you. See, that's what yeah. I was to follow up a little with. Spark, a little sparkle in there. <laughs> um, we were both off last week. It was my wife's birthday, and Matt was not feeling well, so we both said, you know what? Let's just take the night off. I'm walking here. Let's, I'm walking here. We're back. We're feeling good. Um, yeah, tell them, uh, tell them what we're doing. Oh what yeah, do? so we don't we don't really know yet. You want to share your screen? Oh, you got a screen? Oh, do I? Am I not sharing it? You got a screen? I guess. Oh, screen. there's a uh, where's? I'm the... gonna pop my screen. I'm gonna pop. There we go. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna do a little something, maybe different. I don't know. Is it different? Is it that different? I mean, I think it's different. That's it's more. Different. It's more process than than anything, maybe. Um. Well, what we're gonna do tonight? Maybe we go, we go split view. Do we do? Do we go like split view, or do we yeah, go like? Sure. We go like this. This always seems to work well. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do that. But basically, what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna spend some time brainstorming, and coming up with some things to make. Um, <clears throat> the prompt is we're gonna be doing a Cenobite dragon so um this episode is dedicated purely to uh david olson <laughs> yes because uh, david olson has it in his head that i don't like dragons and um so if there's only one person watching this, uh, this whole <laughs> thing it should be david olson and i want you you out there to to message him and make sure that he watches all of it. Yeah, make sure that he knows that we're awkward porn style, playing. like eyes open, you know, drip uh, dilated eyes and everything. So yeah, what? Uh, uh, and and it comes from I guess the history is that it comes from a document that I wrote for my class many years ago, um, where I was like, here, you know, I give students kind of the structure of the class, like here's what to expect. And um, here's how you can deliver that. And at the end, you know, I, I always, you know, we got a lot of questions like, what can I do? And so I was being cheeky and I was saying what not to do, don't do a drag for this class. <laughs> now, just whatever you do, don't do a drag. And it wasn't like, because I don't like dragons. It's just because dragons are really time intensive. You know, you got horns. You got wings, you got scales. Like if you're gonna do scale, you got so many scales. And there's teeth. They've got teeth. eyeballs. But eyeballs. I mean, but the wings. Claws, wings. Uh, the wings. wings. Yeah. Let me tell wings you about are, wings. Wings are um, near a bad time. <laughs> Hello from Jamaica. Hey. Hey. -o. Hey. -o. Yes, we're gonna be doing a horror-based dragon. So. What I always think is fun is like when when you um, when are, when you're thinking up stuff, I like to mash it together, just oh, mash yeah. two kind of ideas that maybe don't don't belong, and uh, and put them together. And that's kind of like it's what design is. You're just you're just coming up with stuff, smashing it on top. 
just having... getting those getting those brain juices entangled and getting brave with it. Getting brave. Getting brave um, with it. What getting brave with it. Potato? So we would also we we figured we would do something a little bit different. Is we're going to spend a little bit more time on this project, um, at least through the month of August. Yeah. And um, and the reason why is we're just going to kind of take you through every little kind of part of the process. Um, certainly not to production level silliness because um, ain't nobody got time for that. But we're going to kind of like, in the way that Matt and I do, we're going to just, you know, yeah. No, um, go for it. Yeah. So like, so yeah. Uh, uh, so we're, we're up for brainstorming. We love your ideas. Um, chat with us come hang out because we're gonna just like kind of slambo out some some ideas and uh and just have some fun and uh talk about the news and uh you know all kinds of spooky pumpkins <laughs> you know um I, I like it spooky pumpkin so ceno by dragon yeah we thought that would be kind yeah. of like a cool uh because we wanted to do a dragon thank you again to david olson uh, all for, for his relentless pursuit of this it's been his weeks un, uh his, his unbending desire to see me work <laughs> on more dragons and i agree uh, i i don't have a lot of dragons in my portfolio um you know uh, if you accuse me of of not liking dragons i have proof you know i have like all the way back mm -hmm. i have the book of the dragon and I'm, I'm looking for it. He's going to find that book, guys. I have a book. <laughs> guys, hear I, me out. I have a book. I own a book. Look, I own I own this book, okay? And I and I should have looked for it earlier. But it's a, it's the book of the dragon. And um, might as well source it now. It's called the book of the dragon. And this was like the first book I remember... Like there are two books that are kind of like, I would call them like the foundational pillars of like kind of how I got to loving creature designs. And the first one is the book of the dragon. And it was just like, the paintings were so real to me. And, um, and it's, uh, this one by, uh, Cerullo. Let me see. Uh, yep. yeah. Ah, there it is. There's this book. Um, and, and, and I, you, you might know it by this cover. Cause this is, yeah. uh, this is the cover. This is actually the, the one that I have. Nice um, time. and, and this is like a book I've carried with me for, you know, probably 35 years, you know, since I first walked into a bookstore, I remember buying this book and like, just visually like, you know, uh, uh gobbling up all the, all the yeah. visual, like, like, and then just reading about dragons, you know, and it was like, oh why some dragons like to hoard gold or or why mm -hmm. they uh um why they like to hang out in castles there were there there was reasoning behind all that stuff and um hey we love Noman too thank yeah. you yeah Noman uh Noman is is our is our home home and um, Noman. we love it changed our lives the life changers um so this was like the first book like I remember loving. Anyway, the the visuals in it are just gorgeous. All the all the paintings. There's this like sick undead dragon in there, and it's just like Tight. you know. So like let's uh, since since we're here, we're gonna start kind of pasting that into reference, and start building out their reference. And I'll I'll probably kind of end the night by um by just doing some doodles yeah you know yeah i mean we got a brainstorm like i i, I, I like a lot of ways to go with this actually yeah i liked the hell priest dragon right it was, oh it yeah was, we, you know, we we kind of offered up two ideas of of dragon and and one was um so i i said to matt like hey dude what do you think about this um, let's do a Cenobite dragon and, um, and let's do, um, you know, or a dragon priest, which is yeah, basically I, like, I think it was like, it was, was like a dragon, but it was right. also a priest. 
And but it could be a like dragon boss, that's just a He's a dragon, but he's also a you know very religious and you know <laughs> he's got a he's got a book. He's got a little, you know, he's got like uh see we're brainstorming already. Maybe he's got like one of those like uh smoking canisters, you know, yeah. that they like that. And it's got cool. it's got some sort of scary sigil on it or something. Definitely like uh you know, with with Cenobites, um there's what's cool is like there's the torch there's this torture element that's so cool yeah and, and it's all it's like, all a tragic torture element yeah too, yeah right? it looks like it's definitely yeah it's it's i it's different than i would say like what saw torture oh yeah of course that's like because you're right are... this, like they they're doing it to themselves like they they get pleasure out of this yeah yeah but like how they became the cinnabites is like the the tragic backstory there's a there's always oh, gotcha. some, some sort of uh, awful thing or whatever you know like in the fourth one whenever he like makes the twins he winds their heads yeah together. yeah and then that's and, and they make they make this guy right here they make your oh yeah yeah we love i mm -hmm. oh, love that dude yeah. dragon torture by mankind that's kind of cool temporal pincer dragon oh my gosh <laughs> What's up, Mark? What's going hey, on? An insect dragon would be that would be really cool for another prompt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, for this one, I think we're gonna stick to like, I'm thinking pale and fleshy. Oh yeah. I think definitely. Um, I think for the sake of just uh, uh, making sure that that I give David Olson everything that he wants, uh, I'm gonna do stick with the traditional dragon body type. Yeah. You know, because this is really all about what David wants. Yeah. So, but yeah. but some things that I'm thinking about are definitely the fleshy, pale skin, and yeah. then you have you know the two tone of the leather. Mm -hmm. um, seeing a seeing a dragon in that, some it's gonna be weird. <laughs> it's gonna be weird, but like but let's go I also, there. I also, let's, I mean, I've, let's get I've been comfortable. I basically only have Dark Souls art right now, but, like, uh, but you know how like but that's like the perfect like this kind of like the shaggy, like the shaggy kind of feel of the clothes. Yeah, might work for me. Yes, we, yes, Adam, we're doing dragons, baby. That's right. Um, and we're gonna put on some Halloween lo-fi. <laughs> so it's, it's always this one. It always starts with that one. Let's see here. Um, I told you. Well, look, there's a reason why we can do it now and not say in my class, because you're not going to have time in my class to do a whole dragon. Yeah. You know, it's about it, it, one thing I do talk about is managing expectations. So, what about uh, what's that? The Hellraiser dog. What was his name? Chopper or whatever. There was a Hellraiser dog. Oh, no, dude, it's it's so awesome. Chatter Beast. Yeah, dude. So that I'm thinking very, awesome. very traditional dragon shaped body, and it's like now we have to run through kind of the ideas. Is like, do you do the the standard wyvern body, where it's the wing? You know, the, these are questions. It's good to answer now. Oh yeah, like the is it the the wing and the arm, or is the or is the wing the arm? Is the wing the arm? Is um, is it a long like snake like body? Which probably not. I don't, because I think we're gonna want we're gonna want some space to see all of the torture stuff that we're going to do on top of this. But I'm just going to work pretty small right now and um, just kind of at the thumbnail doodle level. So instead of uh, one, putting a lot of pressure on um, trying to make art, like let's just let's just rip through some ideas. And um, and then we can always kind of like refine our sketch a little bit before we go into 3D. 
So let's just run through some ideas real quick. And uh, e even when I'm drawing for, for clients or things like that, um, I kind of, my first pass is, is just getting um, the energy out. Mm -hmm. uh, just getting all the, because, because, and you know, when you start drawing, uh, you're, you're scribbling a lot. There's a lot of like construction marks and lines and things like that. So I like to just get that out in the beginning, just get it out of your system and just get messy. And then you can always get tighter and more refined later. So it's going to look real ugly and that's okay. pterodactyl mouth shape for good stabbins <laughs> but then ah, ah, but then here you go is those that beak shape could be blades yeah right yeah those would be like bloody blades protruding out of like the skin peeling back in fact let's put it on let's put it on this one that's cool just go for it let's go for it so this would be like very stabby, but, but for them, it wouldn't just be like a couple of blades. There would be like, probably like a bunch of like saw blades, like sticking through the head or something. And the horns, the horns could be like just big metal shards, like jammed into the skull. Oh yeah. That's uh, disturbing. <laughs> I mean, you're looking at Dark Souls stuff, so. Yeah, for sure. Imagine a gargling high-pitched scream in a dark sky. You can't see as it's sweeping through the night. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, its scream would probably be the bellow of a thousand screams. Like, a, uh, you know, it'd probably be like thousands of tortured souls. Um, and then, you know, what would be cool is, um, is uh, if we saw the, like the teeth underneath that, right? So you have the teeth and then you would have like the, the, the blades jammed out of that flesh. Lots of chains, lots of like gaping wounds. There's this dude um, who he's got saw blades in his head. <laughs> you know this dude, right? Saw blade in the head. Dude. From uh oh yeah yeah. Matt Matt can tell you like the exact like oh he's in like frame three sixty four. <laughs> Look, he's got a fascinating history. He goes well, all. <laughs> For yeah. you know, I used to be a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> used to be, yeah. <laughs> uh, and the I, actor name Dave. <laughs> Cass. I thought you were talking about uh, the dude from Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods. Like Cabin. A parody, oh, a parody of Pinhead, not parody, but the uh, uh Let's look him up, Cabin. And there's also the dude uh, from Thirteen Ghosts too, mm. who's also like yes. very. Yes, the dude with Sawblade Head. Yeah, Sawblade yeah. Head, man. Oh my God, this guy shreds. I love that movie so much. Oh, dude, it is easily one of my top three favorite films. 13 Excuse Ghosts? Me. Oh, no, Cabin in the Woods. Oh, Cabin in the Woods, yes. Um, I would put 13 Ghosts up there. No, you don't agree. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to figure out how to operate this software. I love that. <laughs> I just wanted to see a mermaid. I just um, wanted to see a mermaid. Cabin in the Woods. I just wanted to see a mermaid. Yeah, I mean, Cabin in the Woods is still hard to beat. Yeah, I mean, that um, may be... Uh, oh, Smiley is... Face. Yeah, I know yeah. Smiley Face. That's fun. Um, oh, man, we, we have a lot. We have so much to talk about. Um, yeah. Like, from, like, the news of the day all the way to, like, uh, movies that it, we've seen. Oh, man, so like, many movies. I don't even so remember. Much, 
there's so much to catch up on, but I guess like, let's start on the news of the day. Okay. So that, what is the news of the day? Did you, did you hear? Okay. So, um, so Warner brothers announced that they, that they have the Batgirl film completely yeah. finished and they're not going to release it at all. Oh shit. What? They're not, gonna, they're not going to release it at all. Yeah. Here, uh, it was oh the, wow! Um, Acts by Warner Brothers won't be released on any platform at all. Um, they had the movie complete completed, so um, it was done. Dude, what is happening? Um, crazy. Yeah, that's uh, that's wretched, man. I can't believe that. Um, it's a little. I mean, it's it's a little unprecedented and a little shocking. Yeah, like what's um, the what's the deal? Well, I mean, um, as, as we know, uh, Warner Brothers was bought by um, by Discovery Channel, mm. and um, that happened last year, I think. I don't quote me on the exact on the exact dates, but um, yeah. So essentially, this is the result of that merger. Um, <sighs> So that's why like a bunch of stuff got canceled. Very few things are staying. Mm-hmm. Raised by Wolves got canned. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and I was a fan of Raised by Wolves. You dude, know, I, I, I still want to go back and, and finish it. It was nuts, dude. It's so insane. And um I'm really uh you know, I'm disappointed. Um, oh, oh, we gotta we gotta guess. Hey, buddy, what's going on? <laughs> what's up, little dude? Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna come see? We're making a dragon. You wanna see? You wanna come see the dragon? We're we're just starting. We're sketching. Who's talking to Air? Where's Leo at? Air, you want to say hi? Yeah. Ah! Hey, buddy. Air, you want to say hi to Matt? Hi. <laughs> What's going on, little man? So we're making a dragon. You want to see? It's a scary dragon. We're going to make a scary dragon. Well, I'm watching Mickey Mouse. You're watching Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Who's on your t-shirt? Sonic. Sonic. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Good night, buddy. Good night. Good night, <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, little dude. Uh, small human. Um, there we go. Oh, well, you got you got some drawings going on, too. Yeah, I'm just poking through my reference board. I'm going to start just drawing some things, just like uh, what you're doing. Just to get some, some loose, loose forms starting. See where, where was I? I was thinking, um, um, oh, that, um, that because that dude had saw blades coming out, like that could be the the, the spine on it, like it, like going down, it would be ridges of the spine and it could, like, mm. be, like little saw blades coming out. Gosh, yeah, that's gnarly. It would kind of makes a circular, kind of an interesting. And then maybe some barbed wires. And so maybe them. I think what I'm thinking is like take the what if it was like a two scale kind of medieval, right? Like a bunch of giant rustic nails or there's swords sticking in them, oh, like back in medieval cool. times, and yeah. it's like ancient. Maybe he's got some some armor that's black that kind of matches that uh you know, because I mean, it's that's really cool. It's like uh, it's like evil fashion, <laughs> you know. But he's like, uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe something like that for all of like the the injured elements. Maybe it's residual from warfare, or that's like that was his punishment to become the Cenobite dragon, and that's what he turned into. You know, that's so cool. Yeah, like. Maybe his chest is open or something like this. 
Oh yeah, that I mean that's very very Hellraiser for sure. Um, and like when you're when you're in the stage of just like ideation, like I'm not I don't care about making a good drawing. Right. Um, like my my this is not the this is not the stage to be like ah ha ha you know this is uh this is time to like really polish and make a beautiful piece this is like this is the ugly stuff this is the ugly art i'm not a great drawer either so oh yeah i mean i i haven't drawn in forever good to flex the muscle gotta flex them muscles and then like what if the wings were also like blood red like they were skinned oh yeah yeah i'm thinking maybe like <clears throat> Eventually, there's like skeletal elements, like kind the hands. Maybe or... like the hands are just bones, and all of the skins kind of peeled back. That's cool. Goes goes straight into the, straight into the fucking arm. I'm definitely thinking a lot of like sharp objects jammed in. Oh yeah. You know. Just jam. It's yeah. just violently uh, slammed in. Hey, Alex. See you know, by Tuesday. <laughs> he knows what's nothing up. Like a, uh, <laughs> nothing like a Tuesday evening with some bloody chunks. <laughs> bloody chunks. Bloody chunks. So just um, very, very loose, ugly. Lots of like leather and belts. And I'm thinking, um, since you're going like the medieval armor route, yeah, I'll go the spandex and leather route. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I dig it. I've always wanted to. Straps. You're doing the mouth inside the mouth like a xenomorph. Mm. That's more xenomorph, though. That's not xenobite. Xenomorph. See, what I, what I was thinking um, for the mouth is the chatterer. You know, yeah, that, with the with peeled the, back. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because, um, like, oh, God, how cool would it be to do the face? Like a, like a torn face on top of that oh yeah dude yeah keep um shaking thinking, thinking the same thing keep accidentally like shaking it and it hides everything see I did it again shake and bake shake shake the bake And uh, so, uh, man, back to that Batgirl news. I think what's um, what's just crazy about it is, you know, they're they're shelving an entire ninety million dollar movie. God, man, it's and, ridiculous. Um, and they're doing it as a tax write off. Um, oh, according according to uh, some people, I don't know. I have, right. I, have, I don't know if that if I've got that right or not but um but if that's the case it's still pretty bleak yeah um, and then you know regardless that's it's a lot of people that worked on that for a long time you know a, making a movie is a you know a, possibly a five-year commitment you know a two to five year commitment at least mm -hmm. you know so there's a lot of artists and um people who work on that that you know might never get to show that ever yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's terrible, dude. Yeah. Um, not unheard of, I guess. But... Not, not unheard of, but, like, certainly unheard of <laughs> for a movie that has that budget, that amount of budget to it. Right. You know, that's that's what's also a little crazy is, like, um, that's not a small chunk of change to just throw away. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money to throw that's away. That's a lot of money. <laughs> that's a lot of money that could go to, you know, could have gone to um, smaller projects or um you know boosting new artists or new voices so it's a little 
a little disheartening that you know that can happen so easily um there are uh accusations that um it could be a marketing ploy but i don't think so oh okay like as a way to pre-hype it up do a um do something like that i don't know what do you think matt are you gonna put pins in it are you gonna do the pinhead uh I Maybe think so. I've got. I've talked about it, but if you're going medieval, the swords would be the pins, right? Well, that's what I got right there. Dude, that's swords, my man. Swords in the head. Swords, swords in the head. Swords everywhere. Yeah, definitely thinking. Uh... And I'm gonna go. Where is uh? Where's the chatter? Chatter man at here. Chatter man. Yeah this guy yeah there you go so maybe like the armor that he has is you know nailed in and screwed in like this that's cool yeah everything would have to be like screwed into the flesh yeah right? yeah absolutely so i'm thinking <laughs> i'll probably go probably go gnarly chatter oh, chatter beast fire. with the with the swords in the head That'll be fun. That'll be fun, guys. I think that'll be fun to do. Um, kind of the exposed mouth here. Yeah. But like maybe a very traditional dragon shape. Oh, yeah, look at that. I see where you go. And his eyes would probably, like, he would have blinders on his eyes or something. Mm. Maybe, if we, go. maybe if we pulled all the way back to see the, the cavity of the nose as well. I might go, if you're doing that, I might go this kind of, like, uh, angelique thing here where the skin's peeled back and then hooked into other parts of the body oh yeah and i'll maybe from like the <laughs> lower jaw to the upper torso definitely do that for the wings oh what yeah you know what i mean what if the wings mm -hmm. um were were like strips of flesh like this they were kind of held together by chains I mean, yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking yeah. some sort of chains for for in between the webbings. It, that could be cool. You or even if the the fingers were chains, you know, that's another way. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's so. That's what's kind of cool about this prompt is. Uh, glad we can do with it. But yeah, like, what if there were strips of flesh? In between. Like that. And then a uh, very cool horror movie came out recently. Nope. 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 And uh, Matt, Matt saw it before I, before, uh, before I did and didn't tell me anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm I, good like that. I I I got spoiled from a trailer in front of the Batman, so I was a little like miffed that I even knew that much. Yeah. Um, but uh, man, that's such a great movie. Yeah, man, it, it was. I, I really liked it. I think uh, I, I think man, there's so many good things about it, and I, you know, we don't want to go into spoilers because um, absolutely no spoilers. But I just, I'm just here to tell you guys, like, go see it. It's a great movie. It's like, I think it's one of my favorite Jordan Peele films. Um, I mean, but like, the like neck, like just slightly behind Get Out, because Get Out is amazing. Um, but man, Nope is is so good. It's yeah, I, I don't know if I would really call it a horror film. It, it's not as, it's suspense, I think. But yeah, I mean, it's, it was great, man. It was it was great. Love the characters. Love the story. I, you know, I still keep learning new things about it after. Yeah, yeah. There's like new stuff that constantly uh, comes out. 
and um, uh, new theories. And it makes me like rethink about the movie uh, over and over again. And that's like just good filmmaking. That's what like a good story does. Mm-hmm. And um, this it's a uh, it's been said before, but it's a masterclass from from Peel. So like go see it um, so we can talk about it. <laughs> Absolutely, please. Yeah. Go. It's it's a it's a great film. So, um, and and my my wife, who is not like a as much of a horror aficionado as, as myself, she really liked it as well. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a great film. She she will like horror movies, um, but I have to like kind of drag you know drag her to see. I'm like no no trust me it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah this is definitely. Definitely one to watch. I, I think uh, it's kind of a miracle of that the you know it, that it exists. It's amazing. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was really cool, man. Uh, definitely not what a lot of people I think were expecting. There's been a lot of. I didn't know what to expect, honestly. I didn't yeah. know. What, um, I didn't know what to expect, what to think about it, but um, I so I I went in as blind as I could. I, you yeah. Know, seen the trailer yeah and yeah. um same thing here yeah man it was good i i know you're you're very careful about what you will watch before something comes out i do not like to see more than i mean almost anything you know the other thing that kind of gets me is whenever the the reviews start coming out before yeah. the movie. like oh we're get, it's getting bad press people are saying they don't like it i'm like just stop with that dude i don't i don't want any sort of you know yeah like uh, um, and, and look there's a, that's a whole cottage industry you know built yeah. on that stuff um but yeah for like the most part like yeah i don't want to know yeah i don't want to know anything like let me um let me come up with it. Let me let me figure that out. There we go. So yeah, like you can imagine these big old like blades, like bloody blades, kind of like jabbing out. That's that's cool. You know? Yeah. This is kind of what I've I've had. This is the one I've kind of had in my head. So this. Oh uh, yeah. That's this awesome, is the dude. easiest one to kind of get out, but um, like then if you imagine some chains, kind of like this, and it would make that cool triangle shape. We're gonna make some dragons. Hey, not a wood. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Uh, Not a wood by Pawong. Amazing sculptor, good friend. Awesome. Um, and if you want to know who is responsible for designing the Demogorgon, this was oh, yeah. nice. stealth celeb, but he's the guy. Um, so if you love the Stranger Things Demogorgon, um, definitely check out uh, Not a wood. Um, that was his, uh, you know, that was his creation that got got through. That's awesome. I did. I didn't get to. I didn't get to take a shot because I was working on other stuff. Um, but then I saw that come through, the design come through, and that had that, you know, now very iconic flower petal. Oh yeah. And it was uh, very cool. And I know um, probably Aaron did a lot of work on top of that as well. Um, but yeah, yeah, super cool. Not a wood. Crescent shape. Oh, that would be cool too. Like a like a sickle blade or something. If it um, if it went like this, like more pincher like, I think is what what you're saying. That could be cool. If this is the case. Then I'm I would make it like out of, made out of several blades that are kind of like fused together, and then maybe bat, wrapped in barbed wire or something. Could be cool. That'd 
be really cool. Horror dragons, man. Like this is this is how you make dragons fun. Like I like dragons, but they, you know, there's they can get a little a little samey samey. Is Matt dead? Matt's dead. Um, oh no, I'm not dead, sorry. <laughs> I was just whoop. <laughs> he just like he hit the zone and he was gone. I was just down in my cruising. down in my hole, man. Yeah, let's get to where like there we go. That's cool. Each of the claws would have to be like a blade that's like jammed in there. Oh man, yeah, that'd be gnarly. I think jammed in there is probably going to be the phrase of the night. Like just everything, it's like it's just jammed in. It's there. just jammed in there. You don't understand. It's just jammed. It's just jammed. We have a new exercise as well. What, what is it we were saying? Uh, I can't hear no. no, I don't remember. What was it? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what, what, are we, what are we even talking about? What were we even talking about then? Do you remember? When, when uh, was that we were talking? There's a flower dragon that's pretty cool. Yeah, flower dragons are cool. Anytime you combine dragon plus element X is always cool. Sorry, I haven't been able to hang out lately. No, no worries, man. Uh, Y'all ever do something gnarly with the skull CP? Not yet. Not yet, dude. Yeah. We're going to, though. This would be a good place for some gnarly uh, skull CTs. Um, question, do you have Blender on this channel by chance? Uh, no. We don't really... I, I use Blender. Like, I can open it. <laughs> um... <laughs> I have spent time inside the software, mm -hmm. but it's not my primary um, software. So, so then, as far as like other, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is creatures not enough for you? No, Are man. I mean, horrific dragons. You can not <laughs> enough for you. Got to talk about Blender. You know, 3D software is 3D software. 3D software is, uh, it's a tool and it doesn't matter. <laughs> none, of it, none of it, ma I mean, it matters like insofar as like, yeah, you should learn it and like make cool stuff with it. But like, really, it doesn't matter. I've seen people make cool stuff with popsicle sticks. Like I've seen like, people make cool stuff with popsicle sticks. Like, follow a diorama YouTube channel, and you're like, man, people can make anything. I know, dude. It's uh, it's wild. You guys remember the still ongoing cake thing where everything's cake? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the amount of times that's gotten me, and I'm supposed to know what's real and what's not cake. Yeah, I mean, it, it'll fool you. And then, um, God, remember, oh, it's just, it's not just the cakes thing, but it's also, um, it's the mini cakes. Have you got, have you seen that thing? It was like mini the cakes? tiny cakes. There's ti tiny cakes. Tiny cakes that look like amazing, like, but they're tiny. They're super tiny cakes. I want to know more about tiny cakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently the science of like making them is really interesting because you have to mix the proportions um very tinily uh yeah like you have to make the smallest proportions um adam says uh everything looks at appetizing um I, I can just imagine adam like frothing over a <laughs> over a fire hydrant <laughs> He's like, I'm going to eat that. Well, there was also that Japanese game show uh, where they had contestants, like, try to bite something. Um, oh, yeah. They, they would uh, find out if it was, like, real or chocolate. 
And oh, so man. they had to guess. So they're like, people are like putting their teeth on stuff, on like <laughs> stuff outdoors. And that was a great, like, I think we're still very far behind the Japanese as far as like amazing game shows. Oh man, they've been doing it. So they've been well doing it the right so way for year, you know, years. Okay. I want it to be kind of like skinny and emaciated. Yeah, I'm kind of well, feeling the same. And then you do the, now I'll do the traditional kind of like wings on the back kind of dragon. But the whole point is just like keep it loose and, um, don't worry about perfectionism. And then just kind of fill up the page. And, um, you know, my, my drawing skills are, you know, woefully inadequate. But it's just it's like all about fleshing out the idea. It's like that. enough to get by. And there was also the option you said that you were going to put like a face on a on a monitor lizard. Yeah, I was just going to do Doug Bradley's head on top of the monitor. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, you like that? Well, you have that that sculpt you did. I do. Yeah, I could totally put Doug Bradley on just a regular lizard. It's a pretty you solid. Have a idea. lizard too. You. <laughs> I have a lot of lizards. <laughs> Can we get a closer look at Matt's drawing? Here you go. Matt, why don't you zoom in a little bit? There you go. Oh, it's like covered in fleshy strips. Yeah, it's this is going to be skull right here. Right? So it's going to be peeling back uh, like the top of Angelique's head right here. This is kind of the idea. Yeah, is that all that's the, super, oh, yeah, that's super it, It's cool. going to be like skeletal under here maybe some flesh flesh all on the snout but yeah that kind of bloody you know there's more swords pit the swords are pinning everything together oh. absolutely that, disgusting i love it that's where i think i want to go now i'm just trying to you know what else do i got going on yeah you know we were talking about it's just another swords and maybe Maybe the flesh coming off that, but I don't like that as much. They almost look like whiskers in the silhouette. Yeah. Um, no, but I like the I like them going back that way. The mm -hmm. way you have it angled back, that's really cool. And then maybe chains, like all separate pieces of flesh just flayed and plugged together with chains. Oh, man. oh what if we did the... Um... Oh, what is it? The it's it's the bloody angel. Um, oh, uh, uh, blood eagle. You know what I'm talking about from yeah. the the eagle, bloody eagle. Yeah, blood eagle. Yeah, the bloody eagle from like Hannibal and stuff. Right. What if yeah, the, the the strips were ripped off the back? Yeah. And then that's what makes the wings. So yeah. You have a raw, so you got just a whole a whole like raw bloody chunk. But. I'm thinking, okay, see, now we're going somewhere. See, we're, like, this is part of the process, is you just got to talk these, these these things out. Yeah, but what if it's all, like, completely kind of asymmetrical, like like the actual wound itself? Like oh, he's yeah. Just, he's been slashed everywhere, and those pieces have been saved to make the wings. And oh, they're, like, strips of... Like strips of yeah, or or just patches. Like it's oh. it's it's asymmetrical. You know what I mean? Oh, Instead you know what? Uh, like... uh, um, you know, there's the photo of the, the oh, God. This is a horrid. Um, 
<laughs> this is, um, you know, exactly what I'm talking about when you, you'll see it. Ah, this, this one. Oh. Oof. The chicken man. The chicken man. Um, the chicken man. I know you want to watch Hellraiser right now, but you got to wait. Got to wait because we're making chicken man. But yeah, like imagine that like chicken skin kind of patched together. Mm. Warm and raw. Warm and raw. Uh, and that's the other thing I want to do is I want to do kind of a leaner um, dragon body. Because most dragon bodies are kind of like short and squat. Yeah, I want to do like colossal, colossal thin. Colossally thin? Like colossal, but not like big and chalky, you know? Yeah, like I mean? scale wise, like huge. Yeah. You know? But not a, uh, but not a chonky boy. No chunks. Not that chonky boy. Chonky no chonkertons. Oh man, and there was like a whole Comic Con that happened too while we were while we were off. Yeah, did you? Did I didn't anyone... go. I didn't go. Yeah. Um. But I've, you know, my FOMO was activated, and I was my FOMO I was, was activated. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm super jealous. Yeah. I want to go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, but I I didn't go that time. Um. Let's see. Uh, have you guys ever had an art director slash director tell you you guys haven't gone far enough with the NAR? Oh, yeah. um, oh far enough with the NAR. You haven't gone far enough. No, usually they're trying to pull you back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, even if it's rated R stuff. Yeah. Um, I, I've yet to get, you know, uh, really Antlers was the one project where I felt like I got to do some pretty gnarly stuff you know ripped faces and you know things like that um so that those kind of projects are you know surprisingly rare um because the the reason why is is uh gore and things like that those tend to to go to low budget films and those kind of low budget lower budget you know like lower than a marvel movie the bigger the budget the more safe it you know that money has to be so you're not going to see like full on gore in a Marvel movie, not like mm -hmm. horrendous, you know, nightmare inducing stuff. So most of the nightmare inducing stuff is, you know, it's going to be done by uh, fewer artists, you know, probably closer to production. Makeup effects as well will probably handle a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. Makeup houses end up, end up with a lot of that work on those kinds of movies. They're like shit. We'll just do it here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because they, you know, and you know, they're doing that work, you know, on top of it. So my yeah, like they're, yeah, they're gonna finish it, and yeah, put it on screen. So but like the the bigger the budget, the more it tends to lean towards like sci-fi or fantasy, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. General audiences, you know, you can't do a bloody Cenobite uh, you know, Cenobite dragon. Yeah. <laughs> in a Marvel movie, it's gonna feel a little widely out of uh, out of place. Doesn't Disney own the Evil Dead franchise now? I believe so. I think they own every. They own they own all the things, um, but they put it through their twentieth century you know um under that umbrella mm -hmm. and actually the the movies and you know they put it all through hulu and actually i like i've been liking a lot of those movies that are coming out i know say um so you know uh um there's there's been a few kind of horror films that have come out on um on hulu they're actually pretty good and some smaller budget stuff as well but they're uh prey is coming out on Hulu. Yeah. Uh, very soon, Friday, I think. Friday, right? Yeah, man, I'm super excited for that. That's insane, dude. Yeah, it's a little crazy, and I'm, you know, 
I'm disappointed that it's not a big, you know, big release. Mm -hmm. But that kind of means that like these kind of creature films are not going to be big budget releases. Right. Um, what, what people, you know, don't realize is like a lot of this is, you know, movies that are really expensive now and come out a big chunk of the cost is not just the budget of the movie, but it's print and advertising. It's marketing mm -hmm. the film and that just marketing the film alone costs as much as the movie. So whatever the movie is double the budget and that's the real cost. So if you have a $500 million movie, your marketing is really $1 billion. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you're really spending $1 billion because you're spending another 500 million on advertising. Yeah. It's not just that it's, it's, um, it has to be advertised all over the world, um, in every different language in, uh, in every possible conceivable, uh, you know, title, it has to be adapted and recut for different audiences. Um, you know, the, the bigger, the movie, the bigger, the money, the more is on the line. And so I think a lot of people don't realize that many movies just don't want to spend the, that money on marketing anymore. Um, a lot of it, you know, they'll, they'll kind of handle it with the, the streamers kind of own internal marketing, you know, but they're not going to spend that kind of money anymore um, on a $20 million movie. They're just not. So the, you know, the, the risk is so much bigger now. And especially because these movies are so big, they, you know, they can't fail. That's why it's a little, again, a little shocking that, um, that of what happened to, to Batgirl. Gosh. Yeah, you that's know, insane. That's, that's a $90 million movie. And, you know, 90 million plus 90 million, that's the real cost of the movie because it takes 90 million to market it. They just decided, well, we don't want to market it. But what's even more shocking is that they didn't just put it out on streaming because they have their mm -hmm. own platform so so that makes you wonder like is the movie really that bad yeah right like god it, it's it's a little crazy and that's why it's so unprecedented because guys for a movie to get even greenlit you know uh, is is it's so hard to get anything made now more than ever so it's a little shocking. I don't know, man. I don't know. As a, you know, because I, I like industry stuff. I like industry news and reading the trades and trying to understand as best I can the business behind it. And this is just crazy. <laughs> like, y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. And um, I'm just happy to be here. I'm just I'm just glad we're all hanging out. I'm just glad we're all hanging out, having a good time. Hey, finally get you got you guys live. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. What's up, Jackie? Oh my, O M F G. Um, ever do any VR sculpting? I have not. Um, I've never. I've I've done very minimal, but not like sat down and spent like a lot of time. Um, but like, would, obviously like, sweet. you know, Jack Phil is, um, one of the creative directors at Adobe and he's like very adept at VR sculpting and he's, Dude, he's also cool. just an awesome sculptor and an, an awesome guy, but like, he's really good at VR sculpting. Um, is it, uh, this is going back, but is it the same as a video game as far as marketing costs? Um, yes, I, I assume, uh, you know, anytime you want to market or print, it's called PNA print and advertising and um anytime you want to put a product out there you have to advertise it um now it, these days uh you know we have people on the internet to um you know also help hype it um but it's it's still you know you still spend that money to get people to buy it you know uh word of mouth can only do so well so you have to run ads on tv and you have to um um, you know, put out press bulletins and get people excited and get people writing about it. Um, maybe you put together a trailer for the game, you know, um, a cinematic, 
it's, all, it's a lot of it's a lot of work hey no well, yeah man we we were we've been talking about Batgirl it's a it's a shockwave I think and um you know it's ultimately I, like one thing that I, I read about Discovery when Discovery was gonna buy Warner Brothers one reason why they were kind of um adamant about the 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 changeover from executive from creative executives is they felt that leadership at Warner Brothers um kind of squandered uh the the IP um they felt like Warner Brothers you know who has this massive library of characters on par with anything that Marvel's doing and they're just squandering it and um and I think a lot of people you know feel the same way you have heroes like superman and and green lantern and, and um i mean shoot just any dc character yeah. right and, and and they just don't know what to do with them um and i think that's you know if you're a creative executive um you're just kind of always scared for your job anyway <laughs> <laughs> because you your kind of job is kind of replaceable and if you green light a bad film, your job is out. Yeah. So if you're an executive, your job is to hold on to your job. You know, and so you're going to green light very safe projects um, that may not be um, artistic, artistically risky, you know, because you're you're trying to hold on to your job, you know. Um, if that makes sense. It makes sense. You know, you know what I mean, Matt? It all makes sense. Everything uh, here is making sense. So it's like, but ultimately, I, I think that it comes down to bad leadership on Warner Brothers' part. They just don't know what to do with the characters. They don't know what mm -hmm. to, they've said as much. They don't know what to, to do with uh, Superman. Um, they didn't know how to, to deal with the Snyderverse stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it, it looks like now with Batgirl scrap that Flash and other films are also likely uh, likely to get axed as well, which are like also multi-million dollar, you know, budgeted movies. Oh, um, you mean like they're talking about axing the Flash movie? Um, yeah, I mean, it's a possibility. Yeah, I mean, Ezra um, Miller's been coming under so much fire. For yeah, dude, uh, uh, that's, not the, that's not the kind of press that studios like before yeah. they're... <laughs> You know, it's a little, it's a little crazy on their part, and, mm -hmm. and what is that they, that they haven't wrangled their star um, is also a little crazy, because mm -hmm. um, you know this is not the first time something like this has happened. Surely, yeah, um, surely studios must have some kind of contingency for that. I might be wrong. <laughs> when yeah. do you get, when do you get an Ezra Miller <laughs> happening? <laughs> Uh, so it's a little crazy, and then you you juxtapose all that stuff with Marvel, who's um, they're they're planning the next ten years. Yeah, of, you know they they've shored up their their television problem. Daredevil's getting uh, a a show back on uh, yeah us, and so is um, so is Punisher too. Punisher's yeah yeah. Rad. yeah yeah so cool it is um because the the netflix punishers were you know were great and so oh yeah ah, so cool let's see yeah poor dc the suicide squad movies are not that bad um one james gunn's suicide squad is amazing which is amazed uh, but like even David Ayers, man, uh, uh, I went back and I watched that Suicide Squad night. I, it's a guilty pleasure. I like it. Yeah. I've seen it a couple of times. I am a man of high class and taste. And then um, right on. They are a class action case of what not to do, though. Man, they have not, um, they have not handled their, their IPs as well. They just don't know what to do with it. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's disappointing, but like, you know, 
here's hoping that um that discoveries you know they're you know they're looking at the books they know the they know the potential of of uh, these ip and these characters um so i think they're gonna they're going at it with the sledgehammer and saying let's get rid of this let's get rid of what's not working but it is shocking that they're like again they have a whole movie ready to go and and they're just not going to do it they're just going to sit on it forever yeah like they're inviting they're inviting someone to leak it you know yeah or, right you know uh uh so it's just shocking but in the meantime we're gonna make some scene about dragons have a good time mm -hmm. seen a bit seen a bit like a halibut but a scene a bit yeah so i think i'm gonna go Let's uh, let's zoom in on yours, man. Um, Definitely. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm thinking like you know Frank from the first one. Just oh, he's just played, played. Uh, Equarche. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just. Oh no way! Yeah, let's let's make that big. I want to see that. That's rad. He's flayed up. That's a cool idea, buddy. Thank you, man. And the skin, it's getting peeled off. I was taking your idea as well. We both had this kind of tattered. You know, tattered flesh idea for the for the wing. That'll be gnarly chains and stuff like that going in between. But yeah, maybe mostly flayed. Some of the skins just wrapping around his body. He's got big spikes. These are metal spikes right here, stabbing yeah. through. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's important. <clears throat> yeah, stabbing through to kind of get that form in there. You know, a nice healthy dose of stabbing. And yeah, like down to the bones. Healthy, a healthy stabbing. A healthy stabbing. <laughs> but I wanted to go down to the bones in some areas, you know, just with little bits of sinew holding things together. Maybe asymmetrical too. Maybe the left hand's like, I don't know. Well, I don't know. They're all pretty uniform in their designs, so maybe not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to think about that. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if the armor thing will work on this. I think maybe just the flesh dragon with the swords in the head. You don't think an armor would work? I don't know. We can try it out. See if it's kind of like accented it over like the shoulder or yeah, uh, maybe a gauntlet. Or maybe then, like uh, uh, just thinking about modeling. Yeah. You're gonna have to sculpt all that, you know, rendered flesh. It's gonna be awesome, dude. Um, you know, it's gonna be. It's awesome. It's gonna be awesome. That's always the funnest part is doing all the nasty stuff. You know, we enjoy the nasty. Yeah, we got sick brains. Like at some point, <laughs> in your in our development, <laughs> uh, we realize that our brains are really we're, we're, we're just really broken people. Uh, yeah, where are you at on yours? Uh, well, I, I uh, let me hambo up some jambins. Um, so, so back here, yeah, I, I had this uh, just very, very loose. Um, I was thinking a lot of like jagged shards and you know for spines and then um, oh yeah, arrows yeah. that are just kind of penetrated throughout. Yeah, oh, the face um, is dope, dude. Yeah, yeah, like I love the the exposed teeth would be really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Really cool back. Um, so now I'm going to go with, I'm going to try and just sketch out a, a very traditional dragon shape. You know, the, you know how they always have like the frilled ears. Yeah. Um, so also thinking about that, if that, that was also torn flesh and maybe uh, uh, metal rods mm -hmm. you know, and they're, they're chained together. So it looks like um, it's making that flayed kind of uh, shape. And then instead of like traditional teeth, maybe it's, you know, uh, iron spikes that are jabbed in there where right. they used to be and maybe there's a few teeth like that are still kind of left in there some snaggle teeth but like mm. ones that were like pulled out um you know might have a, a you know a, a, an iron piece like jabbed up in there mm. it's maybe jab. some metal melting into the flesh that would be cool too uh like like metal chunks that were burned into like superheated and then burned into the flesh and then kind of scarred in there Ooh, yeah that's a good one i think that's cool 
Let's I think I'll, I'll, we'll do that one with this. Yeah. This is the chunk, you know, the charred kind of metal pieces that are like burned and yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, question here is, what advice do you guys have for people who sometimes struggle with fleshing out a rough first initial design? Uh, thank you for always having these awesome streams. Hey, um, well, thanks for tuning in. Absolutely. For one. Um, we are nothing without you guys. Um, but my advice is uh, don't be precious uh, with these early stages. That's why we, for this kind of like bigger assignment um, that we wanted to focus on this month, uh, Matt and I, we wanted to start with just brainstorming. Yeah. Very, very, you know, like, again, these are not pretty drawings. These are not the like spectrum of art that I can produce by drawing. Um, but it's important to just get out some ugly ideas. Um, whether you doodle it on a thumb, on a, on a, you know, on a post-it note, I have post-it notes that I keep. Um, it doesn't matter where you're, where you put it down, but just put it down. Yeah. Put the idea down. And it doesn't have to be pretty. Um, just start making marks on paper. Yeah, I think I think one thing that's, that's important to know is that, like, you know, I think something that I learned in <clears throat> in your class, you're like, you know, don't expect your first like thirty thumbnails to be good. You know what I mean? Because you're finding that rhythm. You're trying to find that. Just and, where are you going? What is your brain doing? You know, what and is, also. What are, you need time to warm up yeah like, big time. The, the, the brain um doesn't operate that way you can't just sit down and be like Woo! i mean some people can um yeah <laughs> i feel like there are definitely artists who just sit down and they just rip it out but i am not them um like i would like to be um but some days i have you know i struggle it's a struggle mm -hmm. um so what I would say is don't be so precious about what you're doing. Um, you, that it, it tends to stem from perfectionism um, where, where you want everything to be perfect and amazing um, from the get-go. And, and in truth, um, you got to make some ugly art to get to the pretty stuff. I don't know. I'm just a man with a, with a ham, with a glazed ham. Uh, it is a single glazed ham, Your it's Honor. It's one ham. It's one ham. And um, we have a new graphic. A new, uh -oh. graphic. new graphic. New graphic. Get ready. We're ready. You wouldn't slurp a splort. You wouldn't slurp a splort. Who, <laughs> man, that makes perfect sense. Pinnacle advice, guys. In trying times like this, <laughs> it makes hey, perfect sense. Hey, are we going to bring back our creature of the week? Uh, do we have one picked out? Do we have one picked yeah, out? Do we have one? Well, I've got one in the back of my head. And since we're talking about dragons, specifically for David also, I'm going to talk about the greatest dragon. Okay. We're going to talk about the greatest dragon. And that's uh -huh. our creature. That's our creature of the week. Okay. I want you to get ready. I'm ready. You, know him. you love him. It's Clifford, dragon. Clifford the Big Red Dragon. It's Clifford the Big Red Dragon Heart. Yeah, dude. Sean Connery, right? Sean Connery. Best dragon voice ever. Dead, uh, Dennis Quaid. But this dragon, you know, he was a he was a he, he was a noble dragon, the last of the dragons. <laughs> the last dragon. I am the last dragon. <laughs> oh man, I love this movie. Oh dude, I watched it so many times. I love this movie. I loved it. Um, and he talks, "A night fights with honor," and you know, ah, mm -hmm. come on, pump it. Because <clears throat> you know, as much as I like the scary stuff, I'm a sucker for like nobility. Oh yeah, man. You know? That was uh, I watched it. So the sequel now that was some. <sighs> that was some 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 garbage. Yeah, they did it dirty. They, they did. That they did. You, you know, it sucks when like uh, when they're going to do a franchise dirty like that mm -hmm. and, they, and they start pumping out a bunch of cheap, like cheap mm. sequels, Dragonheart mm. 2, Dragonheart 4, 
the journey for more dragon hearts and you're like oh. <laughs> you're like no um it's always a little painful when that happens mm -hmm. um <laughs> they did the same thing to to era uh what was it aragon do you remember that it was a good book and they the, they just torched the movie aragon oh, <clears throat> I, have, I don't know if I've seen it. Okay, well the the book is cool because like this kid gets a real uh they he has a psychic link with a dragon. Okay. And oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I've, I've seen seen this, book. I'm sure you've seen this cover. Like anytime you walked into the bookstore, you saw this cover of the dragon, mm -hmm. which is not my favorite dragon, by the way. Is I don't I don't like this dragon design, but the book was cool, and so I kind of like I would push past the cover every time just because I like, you know, I like reading the book, but man, they did this movie dirty too. Mm. Even though the dragon looks generic, it's like the most, like, this is like where dragons just, it's just, there's nothing interesting. Uh, you know, it's just like, no, no, like no special sauce there. No special sauce. No right. special sauce. It's just like, it's a horse with <laughs> spikes. <laughs> And I don't know. It's just whew, not not my favorite dragon. But uh, what are your guys' favorite dragons? Yeah, I read everything too. I I I worked at a bookstore for over a year, and then um, I grew up with, like devouring books. So literally ate them. I I would eat the books, and uh, as as much as the doctors would say, don't eat the books, I couldn't help it. Had to be done. Had to be done. Had to eat the books. They talk about cooking the books, and that's that's, that's why. Because if you're going to eat a book, you got to cook it. You can't just you got to cook it. Hot dog a book, man. That's yeah. I mean, that's where the that's where the saying comes from. You guys probably didn't know that, but right. <laughs> probably weren't aware that that's actually where it came from. But that's okay. Maybe I make this one a chunky boy. What do you think? He's just got like a big old. I like no. It. <laughs> unless, unless it was a female one and there's like a bunch of eggs in there and they were all translucent. You Ooh, translucent. Yeah. That's the word of the day. Love it. All right, we'll, we'll keep this because I pretty much like the body. The Banshees from Avatar. Yes, those are super cool. They're, they're not really dragons, but they're kind of dragons. So, yeah. They're rad. Gosh, I mean, all of those designs. Oh, I mean, like anything in Avatar is just awesome. I'll hear no slander. No slander for the Avatar. No slander for the wicked. Would be some other cool things that we could do. There's also, there's also the more like slithery kind of dragons, like smog. Yeah. Smog. Smog. You wouldn't slurp a splurp. <laughs> it's been uh, uh, my obsession to bring splurp into the cultural lexicon and we're going to get about. it yeah i mean it's it. it's a good it's a solid it's a solid word it's a solid thing to be a part of it's lord like you go to a splorting event <laughs> you go to a sporting event now uh, if, we're, if we're talking like good dragon designs, I I loved, um, I loved Smaug, Schmaug. even though the Hobbit movies are not, yeah, they're not my favorite. I'll, I'll, yeah, they're not, not my a, favorite. Not a huge fan. No, I mean like it just it, they just get cartoony, um, mm -hmm. and I felt like they they dropped the entire tone of, <laughs> of what made it cool, but like. I will give him this is Smaug is just rad. Oh yeah, dude. That's his awesome. face is so cool. And his sequence is really cool. Mm -hmm. I just felt like it didn't need to be three movies. 
<laughs> but like uh, uh i love i mean i love this smog one. like this is interesting dragon design and and the reason why is like one there's like interesting shapes going on uh there's more personality in there mm-hmm. um versus uh the 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 aragon uh dragon right uh, you know just kind of like bland and like nothing and I get it, like that. The, you know the struggle on that. You know there was probably someone like mm, push it back, pull it back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, um, I mean, we yeah. can't we can't go without talking about Game of Thrones. I mean. Oh well, I mean uh, Drogon yeah. and Annie of the Dragon. They, those are like very classic dragons. They're awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> um, oh man, and then the Ice Dragon. Mm. Good old yeah, I mean, like, oh, dude, um, you know how everybody feels about Game of Thrones. Yeah. But, like, their dragons were, were on point. Like, just great, classic, like, examples of good dragons. Just good, some solid just dragons. Just solid dragon design. And, you know, the their answer here was just, like, just load them up with spikes. Yeah, I mean, and, and it's a ton of spikes. He's got a lot of spikes, but also his his overall shape here, this like very chiseled edge. Yeah, that's that a very specific decision mm-hmm. that they made, and that's what I love right there. Like smog, smog, schmaug, schmaug. Uh, you know his his shape is more tapered. Um, it's more um, like Komodo dragon. Yeah, it has a has a stylized feel to it. Uh, but it works for him, um, and it, it's expressive. And someone pointed out, uh, yeah, here you go, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, performance. <laughs> yeah, the oh, famous yeah. Uh, uh, Benedict Smog. The famous, uh, his, this is the dedication we were talking about, his uh, dedication to the performance. Let me hide that real bit. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. I want to have this kind of fun. This guy's having fun. He's having a really like, I want to have this kind of fun. Like, that's a good time. I don't care if you're wearing little gray polka dots. You're having fun. <laughs> you know, that's why you got into this business. Mm-hmm. Is, to, is to do that. And to, you know, perform in um, award-winning movies. <laughs> And to perform in award and uh, to perform in uh, award winning films, and then uh, you know cover yourself in dots. But like I mean, they <laughs> ask you to play, they 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 ask you to play smog. What are you gonna do? Say no. Yeah. You know. I mean, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. But like, I'm trying to think. Like, what if you had a more serpentine body? Maybe. This is just like ambient scary music. It's not even like scary music. Just ambient, like weird noise. I can barely hear it. I don't know. I know. It's uh because it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's spooky. We like spooky things. Um that dragon looks like my first dragon in ZBrush when I found out about the horn brush. Yeah. Uh, the first time you start playing with like VDM brushes, you're having, oh, yeah. you're having a good time. Mm. Dragon Ball. Oh, Shen, Shenron. Is it Shenron or Shenlong? I thought it was Shenron. Yeah, Shenron. Yeah, great, like serpentine dragon. I, oh, I'm, yeah, classic. Uh, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Not huge, but I'm like a big fan. Sounds like you might be a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan, but I am a big fan. Um, but I love Dragon Ball Z. Like I'm not gonna quote like everything about it, but um, I love <laughs> the character too. He's uh, like again, like great serpentine, long shape, you know, menacing face. It's just awesome. Yeah, I don't 
nothing. I'm just going to get rid of it. Yeah, man. About to make some dragons. Show us your Vegeta tattoo. <laughs> That's where the sun don't shine. <laughs> 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 This one uh, just doesn't have like the menace of this one down here. It's like kind of worried I kind of nailed it too soon. Blood patches here. Because when you think of Cenobites, you think of bloody patches. You gotta have patches. You gotta have bloody patches, um, pain, right? You gotta have bloody. fights to show people. Let's see, what would it be another? Oh, you know what? I had um, I wanted to do like a very fleshy, soft face. Oh uh, yeah, like some uh, some of the butterbean stuff. Yeah, like a really soft face. Almost, in a way, kind of like a xenomorph. Mm. Um, but instead of the black kind of oily uh, xenomorph, instead, uh, instead it would be like pale, fleshy. Maybe the lids are pulled back. Oh, yeah. So you get that kind of like Harlequin like point. Blades are jammed in the side like this. Just fill in the page, people. Fill in the page. What are you guys working on out there? Tell us what you're working on. Are you making some monsters? Show us your monsters. You guys, uh, you guys should join us in this prompt if you feel like it. Yeah, man, make some scary scenes. Make, uh, make some xenomorph or some. <laughs> we see. We <laughs> go. We keep going there. You're making an alien fish. There you go. Yeah, if you're, uh, if you want to come. Join us with this prom. Join us. Join don't us. Die. Don't die. Like don't Please. die. That don't would... don't do that part. Don't do that part. Ah, you can die a little bit if you want. Just a tid. It's just a it's a treat, okay? But don't make it a regular thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love a little bit of die? Man. I also like I feel like I'm verging very close to like the, the Batman who laughs I'm, like getting oh, close, yeah. close here yeah. and I wonder like how how inspired he was by by the Cenobites I would love to know that He's got to have, like, big dragon teeth. You're doodling. And you're sketching a camel spider. Those are terrifying. Ooh, man. I don't like those. Yeah, spiders. Like, like, I don't want to ever find one of those in my pillow. That's really scary. I know. 
no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to find one in my pillow. I don't. Well, that would be like the worst place to find one. I would think. Oh yeah. Like, may, like the the place would be like. The pillow or under the covers? That's not good. <laughs> You're having a bad time. Really long. Or some other oh you know what we didn't talk about is dragons uh, What's that? uh uh reign of fire oh yeah dude. reign of fire dragons um were excellent mcconaughey yeah. and uh christian bale right yeah and that was uh bale pre-batman oh yeah big time and mcconaughey like pre pre the 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 mcconaissance mcconaissance you know true detective man that really changed him um but like oh the dragons in reign of fire were awesome oh yeah and like probably the the, the most accurate you know because they came up with a, a reason you know oh it's the two sacks in the mouth and that makes yeah them. yeah that was that was cool that was cool uh, but their dragons the shapes of them were really cool and then um also the movie just shreds oh yeah it was like it's it's a little bit Mad Max. Um, it's a little bit um, kind of futuristic. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just, it kind of fits in this weird world of post-apocalyptic dragon uh, sci-fi. It's it's awesome. And um, on top of that, the dragons are excellent. Uh, I thought this movie was like way ahead of its time. Dude, it was so sweet. Uh, they're dragons. Their dragons were really, really good. Strong, really strong shapes. Uh, so cool. Yeah, it's hard to beat that. Hard to beat these dragons. Yeah. Because they got the, the that V shape, you know? Yeah. There you go. Strong nice, V shape. Nice reptile shape. Yeah, good reptile shape. Rows of teeth, kind of like sharks. It's awesome. Jared, Matt, I love the streaming. I started watching recently previous programs. I'm currently on March of this year. Hey, thanks for coming and hanging out. Awesome. Yeah. Um, one is thanks for uh, going through the library. I know it's a lot. We're currently on like 36 episodes. Yeah, that's crazy. <clears throat> it's, kind of, uh, it's kind of crazy. But um, we're having a good time. So thanks for thanks for hanging out with us. Monster Hunter Fatalis. Let's look that one up. That seems more dinosaur. Ah, oh, that'd be kind of cool. What if we did a dragon that was more like a raptor? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, kind of like more bird-like. Just trying to think of like what I haven't thought of yet. Yeah, then it looks like a you know a bird with bat wings. That's kind of dumb. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the design process, people. Let's see, Monster Hunter, Vital. Let's see what that is. Hunter. My mouth. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's cool. I don't really know Monster Hunter very well, but yeah, kind of like a you got a big old oh he's more like crocodilian. Oh, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. <clears throat> he's uh 
Yeah, definitely more like crocodile. Big, big, massive jaw that mm -hmm. you would expect from like Monster Hunter. Because like Monster Hunter, their weapons are just gigantic. Everything's very pushed. Yeah. As far as like, uh, like here the level of realism is real, but the shapes are stylized. But there's something cool about the crocodile idea. I liked the movie. Do you see Monster Hunter? Oh, dude, it was so fun. It was pretty fun. So do, fun. Do you want to just put Doug Bradley's head on a monitor lizard? I mean, it would be pretty sweet. Anytime you put a, a human face on a on a creature body, it's just always excellent. All right, so we'll do that. We'll put like the swords. I feel like I'm going to push the face a little bit. Let's get that V shape, and maybe that V shape comes from um, the two blades that are, you know, again, jammed into the skull. <laughs> They've got to be jammed, boys. Yeah, well, I, I just, I really want a lot of, like, uh, violent. Jamming. Yeah, I want a lot of jam. We need jamming. Like two just, like, big shards of metal hunks that were maybe ripped off of, um, who knows, maybe a... a Oh, you know what would be cool? Like a what? portcullis. Like think of um, castle parts that maybe are also jammed in there. Like uh, a yeah. gate. Uh, yeah. Something like that. That could also be cool. Mm -hmm. And that could create like a cool, I mean, let's see. Pork. It's called a portcullis. This is also a side effect you may not realize of... Um, of design, but you end up becoming like a researcher on top yeah. of it because you just start thinking like, oh, what is that thing called? I got to look that up. Or, oh, oh, now I know this uh, very obscure fact. <laughs> yeah, just this one weird thing that <laughs> maybe like, you can impress someone during like a game of you know, trivia or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, um, I, I talk about it a lot, but but Rampage <laughs> was one oh, of yeah. the experiences where you know, I had to do a lot of research because um, the guy wanted, you know, director wanted a, a scientifically scientifically accurate evolved wolf. Mm -hmm. And then I, I also had to do a lot of that. He had to do a lot of wolves. Matt Matt became like the the master of wolf. The, the they wolf. called me Wolfman for a while. We called you Wolfman. It was like your it was like your Top Gun call sign. It was my curse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the wolf guy. Oh, you, and you know what could be cool? Um, on top of like the gate or some of those spikes. I can't believe we didn't talk about severed heads, dude. Oh, man. Yeah. You know how many severed gnarly. heads? You know how many severed heads and, and torn faces we can put on this thing? Yeah, so you're thinking about making putting like some human elements to it. Uh, why not? I mean, I like it. Uh, I, well, I mean, this is just where I'm at. I'm not mad at it. I like. And you're it. not mad. You okay? It's good. I think it's great. Because you know this is a a, a tortured uh, dragon. I swear to God, David better be watching this. Oh, you know he's not. He's not going to watch any of this. We shouldn't say a single word about it to him. No, just like don't mention it and just, just let it go on. Just see what happens. His, um... <laughs> this is at. Oh, there you go. If you're looking to at David Olson, <laughs> his at is at D 
dsolson.jpg, and I believe that's on Instagram. If you want to reach out to David and let him know, just to watch this episode. Yeah, just to say hi. You know, just like in a nice way. But there's also Matt Miller in 3D. If you want to watch it, Matt Miller. We like to hang out. We like to hang out. Please message us. Tell us. Tell us your favorite kind of milk. <laughs> We want to know about your milk. Show me your dairy products. See, on other streams, you learn valuable information. Here, we talk <laughs> about Bring me your milk. Were things jabbing out of the back? I feel like if you went with the with the withern route, with just the wings as the arms, yeah, it would be a lot easier to accomplish. Yeah, I'm just a big as fan as like, of as far as like sculpting time. Yeah, I'm just I'm just a fan of the the bonus arm. You like the you like the dual. I'm doing it, yeah. I like the duel. You like the duel. There's nothing wrong with the duel. I mean, I'm a duel kind of guy. You're a duel kind of guy. I've seen a lot of the movies that you recommend on the stream. See? Very See? nice. This is why we watch. This is why we do it, is, is for you guys. We want, we want you guys to watch uh, just all the crap that we do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just utter nonsense. But we do like uh, we do like movies. Love movies. Started um, watching um, Reacher. Reacher. Oh, you know what? I watched. Uh, what did I watch? That show with Jeff Bridges uh, that just came out on Hulu. Longmire. Uh no. Uh, Longmire. What's that? I don't know. So oh, I was, okay. I was just guessing. Oh, okay. I mean, this is a solid guess. Uh, it's called The Old Man. That was good. Is he old? Jeff Bridges? Yeah. Like, how old is he? Is he old? I mean, yeah, he's old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he's old. Yeah, man, he's old. He's real old. Well, yeah, well, that, was a, that was a good story that uh, I just told. What um, What is it? What is it about? It's about this old man who used to be a CIA man. No way. Yeah. Uh, it's good, though. You know, I mean, Jeff Bridges is awesome. Well, Jeff Bridges, yeah, he's always great. Um, Brad, so he's an old man. He was in the CIA. Let me guess. He's he's He wants out of that life, and they keep pulling him back in. It's something close, yeah. <laughs> it great. is it is it is good though i liked it a lot i'll, I'll check it out you know I'll, i watch everything he's great what did we oh you know what we watched recently what's that uh, it's on prime it was uh it's called dave made a maze dave made a maze dave made a maze let me let me pull it up Dave made a maze uh this came out in 2017 yeah um it's uh, it's just like a quirky kind of indie film. Um, so low budget, but like, here's the thing. Um, basically they, they come into this, into Dave's apartment and yeah. they find like he's built a labyrinth out of cardboard in his apartment oh, wow. and they go inside and, uh, it's massive. Like it's massive inside mm -hmm. uh, and it's like a whole labyrinth anyway. Um, very it's just kind of quirky funny dry sense of humor mm -hmm. uh but they they do all this like cool stuff with cardboard and they build these like kind of really fun set pieces dude that's awesome uh, and they build it all out of cardboard and there's like a like there's a cardboard labyrinth and there's a cardboard minotaur dude. Walk. yeah it's <laughs> actually really cool 
That's so awesome. it's a it's if you're looking for just kind of like an easy watch yeah um just to like um put something on and not have to think too hard it's funny and entertaining uh check this out i like it i like it a lot dave made a maze dave made a maze he made a maze And uh, Matt, what's your take on feathered dragons? Uh, I'm into it. You got a strong opinion on feathered dragons? Do I, no, I do not have a strong opinion on. Feathered I don't dragons. have a strong opinion on feathered dragons. So. I love me a big, fat, nasty, scaly dragon, but if you want to get a feathered dragon going on in your life, I like feathered dragons. I like feathered dragons, and I don't think uh, I think there's room in the world for for all of them. Yeah, you know. You know, I think now, uh, we have. Yeah, you know, we're very, very I, dragon aware. I was thinking um, about some dragons, mm -hmm. and um, you know some of the dragons that I've known over the years. Yeah. And uh, you've been good friends with some dragons. We, 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 you know, there's the um, the Gringotts dragon. Okay. From Harry Potter. Uh, some of the dragons in Harry Potter are great, uh, as far as like character. Um, but pull up my little handy here. Uh, but this, handy. this pale dragon that shows up at he's like he's kind of like held at the bottom of um, of uh, of Gringot, which is kind of the bank of the Wizarding World, hmm. and um, he's this kind of like pale pale albino dragon, and mm -hmm. he's he looks so cool. Yeah, that's dope. Um, yeah, here you go. So this would also be a good reference for like pasty dragons. Go pasty dragons. Like a, just a classic. Yeah, oh, I love his face. Look at his face. He's, he's got like a very sharp features. Oh yeah, very very bird, very bird. Yeah, like more bird. Bird is you know. Very rare. rap. Very raptor. Oh, I love this. Uh, Raptor is prevalent. Looks more. He looks like his eye is a little larger, and he looks a little bit more like. Yeah. Uh, unkempt, and maybe even a little diseased. Yeah, he's got some issues going on with some skincare. So like, Needs some help. I, I don't think Cenobite dragons would be as diseased, but maybe we could go diseased. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Um, you know, it's. It's all about Hell Priest, Cenobite, Dragon Fest yeah, 2004. A, a, a lot more like pulled flesh, uh, rendered flesh. I keep uh, doing ZBrush shortcuts in Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the worst. But it's good. It's good to show the process and work out all the ugly stuff. Yeah, just get the get the juices flowing, you know. Juices flowing. Low low expectation and like sometimes just putting marker to, to paper without like putting pressure on yourself to like make it the best art you've ever seen. Because sometimes that that trap of like sitting down and like, I'm going to, I got to make something nobody's ever seen before. And it's got to be mm -hmm. the cool thing. And I've got to get a thousand likes on it. Like sometimes that, that part of it is so draining. Oh yeah. Like if you just kind of like go back to being a kid again and like just making marks on paper, uh, it can kind of free you from some of that pressure. Oh, maybe there were like big, Jab spikes in the tail, so he's got like a like a morning star tail, but it's a bunch of blades oh, and like barbed yeah. wire kind of like fused around, so the tail is kind of interesting. That would be gnarly. And we like the gnarly. Ted gnarly. Ted Narbletons. He works. Uh, he works at a mattress store. He's, he's a part-time mattress. He's a part-time mattress storage <laughs> salesman. 
and at night he moonlights as a stripper. Yes, a very effective stripper. A very effective stripper. And by stripping, we mean he strips you of your flesh. That is correct. And you like it, and he likes it. And you like it, and we're all having a blast. We're all having a blast. Okay. I'm thinking maybe on this one is more of a short, stubby snout. Again, flesh pulled back. What? I was just thinking, what if, uh, awesome. what if his mouth was like stuck like halfway open and there's a sword like jabbed down between the, uh, the upper and lower cool. palate? Yeah, that'd be cool. And so like every time it like moves its mouth, like it's like essentially like stabbing its mouth. Mm. This is just how my brain works. I don't know. I like it. Like, you were a monster kid if you were drawing like horrendous stuff in class and your teacher came around and was like, put that away. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. In, you know, <laughs> you're like, I just want to draw horrible stuff. And they're like, yeah, but you can't do that. I think weirdest dragon probably goes to the dragon from Willow. Oh, man. These are some of my favorite dragons just because they're so weird. There's these two-headed dragons, and they had these, like, weird, yeah. like, lumps on their head. Yeah, they're like goblins. Yeah, weird. like, I, yeah. you know, I, I bring these guys up a lot just because. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're amazing. Them. And the animation's incredible. Also. Yeah, it's uh still stop motion this was like what 83 84 mm -hmm. or something like that um god i love these dragons just i like dragons that just aren't the typical you know dragon and of course uh shout out to the greatest dragon of all elliot there he is elliot page <laughs> elliot page <laughs> the greatest <laughs> dragon of all elliot uh dragon so you have to add dragon or you're just going to get Elliot Page. <laughs> we love Elliot Page. But there he is. There's there's the boy. Our furry dragon. Which um that was a that was a note we got like not semi early but like we heard the note that it was going to be mammalian, a furry dragon. Oh, I yeah. that really that's a cool direction that I hadn't heard before, you know? That was something yeah. I hadn't seen before. And it was a lot of fun, and I got to uh, design a dragon for that. You know? They were yeah, like, man. what's a dragon you haven't seen, you know, before? And st still trying to hold to that, uh, you know, it, it, when working on that, I was trying to hold to the original Elliot kind of proportion, which is he had that big, heavy slung jaw they you know that that uh yeah yeah and kind of like rotund a little belly i remember you saying that you were really kind of getting you're like falling in love with one of your dogs at the time and she, she like inspired you or whatever uh, that was the, well i based him off of uh rocky um 
was it Gil? No, it was Rocky. I thought it was Gilly. Was, it might have been Gilly. I don't think so. But I, you know, I've had a lot of dogs. And You've so had a lot of ducks. I've had a lot of ducks. Um, so, I, you know, I kind of call that dog personality up when you need it. That was a fun project to work on. And, and you know, I had a... Um, I only worked with David Lowry for a day. You know, he came into the office and sat behind, you know, sat next to me as we worked on it. Mm -hmm. And um, I could just tell dude was going to make something cool. Yeah. And uh, he went on to do The Green Knight. Oh, yeah, dude. That movie is awesome. And that movie just is so cool. If you haven't seen The Green Knight, I mean, my God, run and don't walk. Run! Run! Mold dragon. I don't know if you're if that's a specific dragon or a dragon made of mold, which is also cool. Mold is good. Just found a dragon Val Hazek. You guys will like it. Let's uh, let's look him up. Val Val Hazek. Val Hazek. Val Hazek. Oh, that's rad. That's gnarly. Look at this thing. I don't even know what I'm looking at. That's cool. Looks it looks like it's got that kind of like webby flesh. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's gnarly. Yeah, we love that stuff. Yeah. I like the Anytime, layers. Uh, you know, webby I've... flesh. I mean just sign me up. Yeah, we gotta have some webby flesh. If... That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, this has like a you know, a piranha kind of face. That oh be yeah, really that's cool. That's, That's something else that uh, maybe like we're not looking at enough ocean. Maybe piranha or um, uh, anglerfish or something. Yeah, I mean, like, how far do you want to take it? You know? I want him to buy me lunch. I want to go on a second date. I like a good. I like a good lunch with a dragon. See, I like the snakehead too. That's cool. I just want to buy him lunch. He wants lunch, Your Honor. I'm just a doctor. I'm not a lunch specialist. <laughs> I'm not a lunch specialist. I'm a doctor, Your Honor. A... You dragged me all the way out here to ask me about lunch? I'm a doctor. <laughs> You want to talk about lunch now? At this hour? At this hour? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, what if um what if the beak was also bound as well? That could be kind of cool. Like the beak is kind of tied up. Yeah, I was thinking about doing like a metal plate, like what that that chatter dog has. But I also did one to where like his teeth are just growing through both the top and the lower lower jaws, keeping his mouth kind of shut, bound like that. That's cool. I like the idea of um, maybe a really bloodshot eye. As well, mm -hmm. yeah, that'd be cool. Like the, the whole eye is just like red and bloody, like a, a blood vessel burst in the eye. And that would give it kind of like a red, psychotic look. You don't see a lot of horror dragons. I mean, what's going on? What's going on with that? Yeah, what's the deal? What's the deal? What's the, what's the effing deal, brah? <laughs> what's the deal with your dragons, bro? David Olson again. <laughs> Once again, this, David Olson, if you want to contact is, him. This is for you, David. Know. This is for you, buddy. He says I hate dragons. I don't hate dragons. I like them. Don't we, we love dragons. Yeah, like a viper fish or an eel would also be cool. I do love eels. I have a fondness for eels. 
eels, crows. Or um, what if we add a little goblin shark? Oh, yeah. You know? It's going to, yeah, I mean, it'll feel more alien for sure. Yeah, it'll, it'll take away the, um, there you go, if we zoom in there here. Yeah, the goblin shark kind of add makes it a little bit more, um, more a little sci-fi, I think. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think uh, you add too much deep sea stuff and it suddenly becomes sci-fi. It's interesting. Yeah, 100%. It's like the secret. Just make it look like some sort of weird fish sure, creature. And the it's ocean is so terrifying. Oh, yeah. And it's like the it's the great unknown that's right underneath our feet. You know what I mean? There could be megalodons under there and we don't know. Could be. I hope so. Damn. I hope so. Looking to, to get eaten by one myself. I would definitely not enjoy that. <laughs> you wouldn't enjoy it for very long. Uh, no, I would hate that forever. Because <laughs> you would be dead. Because it you would follow you, you very would, quickly. You would, would have uh, The shape of the arch with the spikes against it. Really digging the silhouette of the halo thing on Matt's rightmost dragon. Let's make it big. Let's make it big. Oh, that's cool. Like yeah, a circular a, hail of uh, metal and whatnot. Yeah, again. <laughs> Female Cenobite. Yeah, so cool. Was, was her name. And, uh, yeah, I'm thinking, you know, I, I just saw that. But plus it goes with the Hell Priest kind of thing. It almost has yeah. kind of like some sort of symbol in there. So It's cool that, like, they, they did a whole, like, costume and design and then they called her the female Cenobite. Yeah. It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> but she she's rad, though. She looks so cool. Oh, dude, they're, I mean. We're, we yeah. I mean, we love Cenobites. So. Yeah, you know how I feel about it. I don't I, I know how you feel. And, and um, in case you don't know how I feel, I also enjoy them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What was that piece in your ref? You just had a, you were zoomed in. This that, thing right here. This that's super cool. Oh, it's got kind of the weird three. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Some sort of weird. Uh, like triple appendage or something. Like a star, starfish mole or whatever. Star nosed, star nosed. Star nosed. Star nosed Timmy tips. Ah, uh, Timmy tips. Timmy Tips, the man with the man. The man with the man. He's the man with the man in his hand. Okay. It's a tiny man. He's got a tiny man in his hand. I love that 2020 movie Underwater. Yes, we like. We both like Oh, that. dude. Yeah. I've, yeah seen, I've, I've seen that movie. I've, I've watched it a few times now. And yeah. it, it's just great. It's, uh, it's so fun. Love it. Very um, Aliens-esque, you know. But it's underwater. It's true. I didn't make that up. It's actually in the title of the movie. All right. What do we got? Oh. There we go. Where are you at, man? Show me what you got. Uh, well, now, um, oh, let me, um, let me up these hambos. Up those hambolinis. So the... Um, just some ideation here. This is the more like just one. This wings his arms. This is if he had the like splayed kind of uh, ear flaps, but that yeah, was yeah, torn. yeah. But it was torn flesh. Um, this is the torn flesh wing. This is probably where I'm like closest to going mm -hmm. as far as like body style. Yeah, like, lean and light. And then um, I definitely I think I'll I'll probably go with the the two wings, you know, four, four legs dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Just cause I, you know, it's going to be so much fun to get like do the wings and the arms. I know. So, yeah. I, you know, I, I know it's going to be a lot, but it's also going to be really fun. 
It'll be really fun. Yeah, it's going to be a fun project. Um, this guy's got the gate, the portcullis kind of wrapped around him, and mm -hmm. uh, he's got the two large, you know, uh, metal shanks. Yeah, those are awesome. Skull. I like that. And yeah. he's got the big sword through the sword. Yeah, through the, the sword through the through the whole beak um, as well, which could be kind of it kind of makes a horn kind of shape. And then um, just playing with some other different faces up here. This one is it's more crescent um, crescent metal piece, like jam jammed through the skull here. Ooh, yeah. Um, and actually, I was thinking. I like the teeth. Yeah, I'm kind of more human almost. Mm -hmm. But this might be a good space, if I could, if there's enough, like once we figure out scale, like, can you imagine if he had like a bunch of like torn faces? Yeah, dude, you that know, would be nuts. Up here? Yeah. Um, like, and it kind of looks like eyes. Let's, let's that see, is. They were kind of like bloody, like this. That is amazing. Like, what if there are a bunch of torn faces on it? Yeah, that's that's incredible. Can you imagine that thing like coming at you and they're all screaming at once? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at with that, which is maybe not so many torn faces, but maybe a few. It'd be fun. I like it. Um, this one's more bird like, but his beak is kind of wrapped up and he's got yeah. jammed through. Jam jammed through. Yeah. And then this is with the the more um, bloodshot kind of wild psychotic uh maybe tortured eye yeah this guy this this one's definitely the mental asylum one <laughs> and then that's uh, awesome dude and this is more eels like kind of light uh light body you know now that i recall someone i think did a joker dragon that sounds crazy um and i think it was like one of those statue companies yeah look at this this is also for metal, I think. Yes, dude. Dude, look at this thing. Oh, what? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That's not the cool. Like, this is some great ref. In fact, that is copy that in. insane. I'll copy that over to the ref because we're going to save that because it's so sweet. That's dope. It's about time for me to call it, my man. Oh, yeah. Uh, Matt's got to go poop. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to I've got to go poop for eight hours straight. Yeah. Uh, let me, um, all right. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us for our um, our little poop sesh, our little brainstorm sesh. We're probably gonna um, noodle on these off screen for a little bit, and then next week uh, we're gonna we're gonna start building these guys uh, from zero. Um, I've got some dragon base meshes, so I'm not going to start from like zero zero because that's insane. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna start uh, jamming these guys together as far as uh, building it up, and then uh, we'll we'll start rocking out the process. Just gonna, start fleshing out the big fat flesh, nasty. We're gonna flesh it out, and we're gonna have the fat nasties. So um, <laughs> we're gonna have the fat nasty. We're gonna have the fat nasty. Uh, so stay tuned with us uh, this week, or sorry, the net for the next month as we. This is kind of like our project for the month, the Cenobite Dragon. Um, so stay tuned. Feel free to reach out to us at any time. Let us know uh, what you think, what you want to see. I'm uh, at Instagram Jared Krzyzewski, and then my Twitter is at MonsterMesh042. Please reach out. And then uh, Matt Millard is at itchy tasty underscore. <laughs> and that's on <laughs> And then uh, his insty is uh, at Matt Millard 3D. Yeah, come hang uh, out, guys. Yeah, come hang out. Uh, please uh, remember that uh, you wouldn't you slurp. slurp a splurt. You wouldn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Dude, thanks, looking guys. Forward. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Stay healthy. Thank you to our sponsor, Lenovo. Thank you to Noman School of Visual Effects. Yes. Of uh, Visual Effects in West Hollywood, California. Thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you to my dear, sweet, sweet friend, Matt Miller. <laughs> my man. Your guidance, your love. 
thank you to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, stick around. We're gonna. This is gonna be a cool project. So I think this is gonna be a really cool prompt, and, and we're gonna. Um, uh, I think we'll we'll come up with something pretty damn cool. Yeah, it's gonna so be dope. And uh, thank you all so much, and uh, we will we'll see you on the flip. Have a good night. <laughs>